I'm Dr. Balaj Holmos, Director of the Thoracic and Head and Neck Oncology Program at Montefiore Albert Einstein Cancer Center in the Bronx, New York. Despite having the highest five-year survival rate in the nation, only 26% of New Yorkers diagnosed with lung cancer are alive after five years. With prognosis such as these, first-line therapy choices for patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer are critical. And it's why I consider all the clinical characteristics of the disease when making my first-line treatment choice. The activity of therapies in the central nervous system, or CNS, in metastatic non-small cell lung cancer has always been a critical clinical issue, especially for EGFR mutation-positive patients. If a patient has an EGFR mutation, the risk of developing CNS metastasis is double relative to EGFR wild-type patients. In fact, approximately 24% of EGFR mutation positive patients may have brain metastasis at the time of diagnosis, and more and more patients develop them as the disease progresses. Given the prevalence of CNS metastasis in EGFR mutation positive patients, it is critical to consider the activity of a treatment in the CNS. Treatment guidelines for cancers that have metastasized to the CNS include consideration of systemic therapy with good CNS penetration as a way to control metastasis. When you have a patient with previously untreated metastatic EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer, consider treating with CNS active therapy. It's important whether your patient has CNS metastasis now or could develop them in the future.